Whoa, this is crazy. And he's got a parrot. Ja? <laughs> and he's got a monkey. Bye, bye, bye. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And here, and over to the other side. Bon dia from Manaus. This is the biggest city in the whole of the Amazon. It has two million people that live here now. I'm currently at the port here and I'm going to head to some local Amazonian villages. I spoke to my hotel and they said it's possible to go and see these villages but at the moment it's dry season. There's a big, big drought out here in the Amazon. So where you used to be able to drive into the villages, it's all dried up. So I'm just at the port and I need to ask a few people how to get there. And yeah, this is where I am at the moment. Local cafes, local restaurants. There's got a shop here. This port I'm at at the moment is the main port from going from Amazonian forest to Manaus. So you have to get your car, put it on the boat, and then you can drive through to Brazil. Can't drive from Manaus to Brazil because there's no bridges. You have to take the car on the boat and head to the other side. But it's a possibility that I'm gonna to have to get on that boat today and go over to the other side because the other side is where the people live in the small villages so yeah this is where i am at the moment and this here is like a big ice machine and this is the main port i need to go and ask some local boatsmen if they can take me over but i'm not too sure at the moment as you can see here we've got a cargo a lot of cargo boats here this is one of the main ports where they export the goods from Manaus. This is why the Portuguese come and base themselves here because it's very, very good for exporting goods from the Amazon. Let's walk down here. There's a few boats here that look pretty promising. Let's go down here and see what they say. But Manaus has such a big population because of the rubber boom when rubber started to get massive, the Amazon was the only place in the world where you could get rubber from. Oh dear. So, that's why the population was so big. Because in the Amazon, you have a certain tree where you can extract the rubber from. But, the English, us English, come over here and we smuggled the seeds from the rubber trees and we took them over to our Asian countries that we colonized and we started producing rubber and the economy here dropped off big time but that is why Manaus is famous here we've got some boats I'm gonna go here to go talk we've got some local fishermen coming off the boat if you didn't know, the Amazon River is amazing for fishing, sea bass. These boys just come off. Let's go. Yeah. This is the port. I'm not sure where I'm gonna buy the ticket from, but it looks like everyone here is fishing. Oh yeah, everyone here is fishing today. Let me see. I couldn't work out where to get the boat from, but over here it's a bit more busy. As you can see down here, we got vultures <laughs> on the side of the river. Out here in Brazil, there's so many vultures. But us in England, we have seagulls. Out here, they have vultures. <laughs> But guys, it's currently dry season and it's very, very hot. <laughs> it's about 40 degrees today. 
pushing 45 but the humidity out here is crazy here we got some local boats let's go and see what these guys are saying come here have a look here Good dear. I found myself a driver I'm paying him 200 um, Riyaz to take me to the villages First of all he said 400 but it's too much so uh, We sorted a deal out now 200 There we go Hey, we're in the boat, in the private boat. Okay, obrigado. We got the boy here. Let's go to the Amazon. Let's go. As you can see, you can just come down to this port. They tried to charge me 400. I said it's too much. I said I'll go for 200. And they said okay, which is about 28 pounds. Not bad for a private boat to go and see the villages of the Amazonia. Let's go. We're currently leaving the port now. With my driver here. He doesn't speak any English, but. <coughs> I speak a little bit of Portuguese so I can translate a little but I'm learning I'm learning a little because he's leaving the famous port from the Amazon River meets the fresh water and you can see the split it's quite cool and quite famous here we've got portable petrol stations floating petrol stations as you can see people pull up on their boats and they fuel and they can leave we've got one here one here and one here people filling up the boat here <laughs> it's just like a normal petrol station, but it's for boats. Check it out, guys. This is where all the boats come and fill up for the long journeys. You can actually leave from this river here and go all the way to the sea. This river doesn't just attract normal people, it attracts a lot of criminals that use this river to traffic drugs through here. There's a lot of crime in Manaus. It's a bit of a dangerous area. When I was in my hotel, the lady was saying, be careful when you walk through with the camera because she said my camera will get taken and my phone will get taken. But this river here is known for people drug trafficking, people on the run. <coughs> And my boat guy was telling me that before people have tried and robbed his boat, one of his friends had his boat taken because he let someone on the boat, he come on, and when he was about to drop him off at the river, he pulled a gun out and he took his boat and took his, took his livelihood. So yeah, it is a dangerous river, but yeah. We've got some more boats pulling up now to fill up. He's filling up the boat here. With the petrol, the gasolina. And as you can see, up here, he's putting 10, uh, total 50 rias, 60 rias, 70. He's putting about 10 pounds of fuel in today so yeah that should do us well we probably, we probably won't even use that much we probably only used about five five pound max only a small engine 
We've got another boat here. A lot of fishing trips will go from Manaus. So if you're looking to do sea bass fishing, it's very, very good. My friend caught on, which was about eight pounds yesterday when we was in the jungle. Here we got a boat going out. Okay, we've arrived. And here, the dog, guard dog, yeah. friendly or no? Stroke or no? Stroke or no? What? Are you okay? Hello, 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 boy. Hola, hola. Good boy. Got a local dog here. Check this out, guys. Way. Okay, we're gonna head to this local indigenous people, see how they live. My friend here, check this out, guys. All of this <coughs> would be covered in water in the Amazon, and they have a whole six months of dry season and a whole six months. Of rainy season the summer is actually the rainy season and their winter is the dry season which is a bit <laughs> the other way around but that is what I found out but as the water rises these will just rise up this is here what I'm walking on just made out of timbers <laughs> literally just tree branches 
but seems to work quite well. Let's head to this local village and see how they live. It's very, very hot today. Check this out. When I was saying about the rubber boom in the 70s, this was a good thing for the economy, but it wasn't a good thing for the tribes because the Portuguese decided to go into the tribes to find more workers and they took the tribes as slaves. Bundizna. Okay. okay. Here. Here we've got some local villages here. Check this out. See? Check this guy out. He's got a sloth on him. Okay. <laughs> and this, huh? Olha aqui, ó. Esse aqui é o Mário Jorge. Ele tem um sloth on me here. O Mário Jorge está no sloth aí. This is crazy. Check. Oh my day. <laughs> this guy's got an alligator. You know. And I've got myself a sloth. Oh, this is crazy. And he's got a parrot. Já? É que isso? This is crazy. Vai. And he's got a monkey. Vai, vai, vai. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah. Just this one. This one the hat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Obrigado. No, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. This one. Ah, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, obrigado. No, I'm okay. Obrigado. Obrigado. And a parrot. Very nice. I'm okay, I'm okay. Obrigado. Obrigado. Where's the... Here, this guy. The guide. Check this out guys, he's got a sloth, he's got a parrot, the other guy's got a crocodile. He's got a baby sloth here as well. It's crazy. These guys are just standing here with monkeys, crocodiles and sloths. We've got a local shop here. This is like a traditional uh, tribe dance. Check it out, how the tribe dance. <laughs> Crazy, huh? This is here for tourists to come and see how the tribes do the dancing, but I don't really want to see it. I don't really like the tourist parts. So I want to see how the actual locals live. Okay? Okay. Let's go to the next spot. This place we've just come to is where a local tribe live, but they use it for tourists to come and experience <laughs> like uh, how they live, they do like a performance, but I don't really like all of that. I like to go and see how the locals live. I don't really like all the touristy stuff, it's not very good. But it's very, very common for the locals to have pet monkeys, pet sloths, pet crocodiles. This is just a normal thing out here in the jungle. It's actually illegal to have pets with no documents. So you can have them, but you need to have the documents. But a lot of these tribes, obviously they're not gonna have the documents from the government. But a lot of people will say it's not fair and it's not nice, but at the end of the day, this is what they've grown up with. They've grown up in the jungle and this is all they know really. We're going to jump back on the boat and head to a village. But he said it's going to be hard to go to the village today because it's very dry, but we're going to get as close as we can. Look at all of these bees and bugs. Wasps are everywhere. Out okay. <laughs> here. Everywhere. He's laughing because all the wasps are on me. See you later, boy. 
Ciao. <laughs> Time to get back on the boat. Okay. Let's go. He's just getting me some aqua from Obrigado. <laughs> very, very cold as well. <sighs> That's so nice. Off to the next village. Let's go. We're heading past some big, big container ships here. And we're heading round the river. Over here, we've got two guys fishing. Oh, sea bass, piranha, a lot of fish in here. Just pulling up to this village, but it's very dry, so we might have to do a bit of walking. Have a look at some of the houses people live on in the floating village. Let's go have a look at how these people live. This is a very old school motorboat. As you can see, it's an engine on the back like this. And if you've seen James Bond, the man with a golden gun, this is the boat they have. <laughs> Going through Thailand. Bonjia. Bonjia. The local lady here. She probably lives out of the village. Okay. Okay. Let's go explore. Gano. Okay, we've arrived at the very, very dry village. Let's go explore. In the wet season, we would not be able to walk here. And it's also very, very dangerous for the people that live on these floating huts when the rains come and the storms come some of these huts will actually be washed away here we've got a local village <laughs> let's go explore we've got some local family walking along here probably to their house let's go explore so so dry at the moment this year and last year has been one of the biggest droughts in the Amazon for years and years. Here we've got a river which they've made a dam for. And here. Yeah? YouTuber. YouTuber. Hola. 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 Ciao. Oh, Vinjia. Right, let's go explore this local village. I'm not sure why the clown was here. He might live at this village and go to work in Manaus. That's what a lot of people do now. Vinjia. Here we've got some local boats. We've got a local boy here. 
and they've made a dam here so they keep the water through here. The reason why they build this dam is because it's very very dry and if they let the water run into the Amazon the families will be left with no water. So yeah, that is the reason he's just told me. My boat driver's gonna wait there and I'm gonna go into the village. Check this out guys. This is one of the only floating villages left in the Amazon. You definitely need this water, otherwise it'd be very, very hard to live. So, so hot at the moment. Can't flip the camera because there's a boy having a piss <laughs> on the side of the on the side of the river. So once he started, I'll flip the camera. Here we got a local family enjoying the weather. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. <laughs> you got more locals paddling through here. This is how they get from their houses to the main river. Bon dia. Let's go see how they live. What a crazy life. It's a lot different to my life in England, I tell you that. It's crazy. These people literally live on the Amazon. <laughs> currently the hottest time of the day as well so I've got to be quick <laughs> otherwise I'm going to start melting my English skin is not used to this sort of heat here we've got a local bird here oh a guard dog <laughs> we've got a local guard dog there doesn't like the gringo here is where the local people live. If I can't find anyone, then I won't be able to get into the houses. But yeah, this is where the people live. I'm not sure how they get there though. I've got to be careful walking through. Because there are big anacondas, there are caimans, there are very poisonous animals in the Amazon as you all know there are some crazy animals that live here I can't imagine living somewhere like this I don't know about you guys but it's a lot different to where I live I've just spoken to a local and he's gonna bring me over this dog here doesn't like me though he's not barking at me but I think he's gonna come and bring me over. Look at this. And yeah. <laughs> they were they were smiling at me so they don't see um gringos here a lot. This guy's coming to get me. Cause my boat driver just said, yeah, just go. Here we go. They're coming onto the village. Let's go. Have a look at this, guys. It's crazy. going on to his house. Good <laughs> It's crazy, yeah? He's going all the way through. To the other side. As you can see, 
houses move either side. This is where people live. We've got some we're doing clad in here. It's giving me a lift to the other side. Inglaterra, yeah, sing, sing. We're going over to the other side. It's crazy. We've got a local family coming through here. This guy is nice enough to take me over to the other side. So, so hot though, so hot. Got a guard dog here. They don't like the green guy. <laughs> if you guys don't know what a green guy is, it's basically a white man, a foreigner, that come to South America. It's not racist or nothing, it's just, you know I mean? it's just a name. So, so hot, man. Obrigado. Ciao. Ciao. Nice guy. Help me cross the river. The locals here are very friendly. Like you just see them there. He just let me across. Very, very nice people out here. But this is like the old style buildings of the floating villages. They don't all, back in the day, they never used to have the metal roofs. We used to be made out of wood like this. Let's keep on exploring. This here, must be our old house, it looks a bit run down at the moment. But as you can see, how they float is they use these big, big tree trunks. Look how big these are. Dried out ones, and this is what makes the houses float. Oh no, we've got a dog coming. Dogs don't like me out here. <laughs> so hopefully, it doesn't attack the gringo. If he does, <laughs> a big problem. This is the, like the local village. They must be, I think they're doing sports day. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice dog, but he was here alone and I went to put a hand, he scared. This is like the local village. Bon dia. This is where they do the sports. I'm just creeping in on everyone. <laughs> Check this out though. Some more houses through here. Here. We've got sports. Check this out. <laughs> this is must be where they play football. So, so hot though. We've got a trampoline here, dog playing. Mad. This is where they store the water for all of the villages down here. The boys playing a serious game of football. This must be where all the villagers come to play. Or it might even be the church because it's a Sunday. I'm not too sure. This might actually be the church for the um, for the village. Are you good? Wait. Hey. All the kids out. 
Hey. <laughs> Doing the boy. Hey. <laughs> he's good, he's good. <laughs> Me and the boy are playing a serious game. Cool, Sam. <laughs> oh, he's a little shit. <laughs> he just booed it away. Him. Respect. <laughs> See? Respect. <laughs> he's funny. He said, film, film. He didn't know what to do. Me and the boy are playing a good game. Like I said, I think this is the church. Because it is a Sunday morning. Hey! Medea. Okay. Is this uh, Christo? Uh, this. Is it the church? Church? I think it was the church. Ciao. I think this here is the local church. So I asked the local guy, ciao. And he said, yeah, it's the local church. But out here, obviously no one's gonna speak English because it's like a very rural sort of indigenous people that like live on the floating village. A lot of these people here are descendants from like the tribe people, but they moved here for a better life. Um, and yeah, they live here probably work in Manaus they get the boat over every day probably work there and come back here and spend their evenings with their families but there's probably about 50 floating houses here but there's more on the other side of this valley um, this is about a 20 minute boat ride from Manaus there are more floating villages all the way along the Amazon but this is the closest one to my house. Now, I've got to go back over there, but I'm not sure how to get there. Might have to walk all the way around here. So as you can see, I come from over here. So I'm not too sure. I think there's a way through here. So hot though. I don't think I've been in a hotter place in my life. Crazy. Check it out though guys. I'm gonna have to take the long route this time. I haven't got my friend to take me back over. All of these houses here have electricity, Wi-Fi, but back in the day, they obviously didn't. The house, it would look more like this here, or wooden. Obviously a lot easier to live now with the new technology. The reason why I've come to this place is because I went to the other bit and I said, no, it's too touristy. I want to go somewhere that the tourists don't come. I want to come somewhere where the locals live and he said we can go but it's very very dry and there's not a lot there but so i said no, no problem we'll go there and he took me to this village i've seen how the locals live i think that was a church service up there and yeah i don't know if you guys can see but there's a vulture up in the sky I need to get some water very, very fast because I'm overheating. <laughs> it's crazy here though. These are the power cables. <sighs> Electricity. You don't want to be bumping into that because I'm pretty sure it's not very safe. Check it out though, guys. 
we've actually got a fire going on here. I'm not sure what this is for. We've got the coals down here, maybe for the cooking. Let's head back to the boat because I'm getting too hot and I need some water. Let's go. It is safe to visit these indigenous people because they are very close to the modern world just across the sea. But you cannot go to some of the tribes in the Amazon because they don't like the outside world. The reasons are because us Westerners destroy the forests. Us Westerners are killing their home. So that is why the tribes don't like foreigners. They don't like the outside world because it's been passed down from generations and generations to see the Western world as a threat. So uh, these tribes will move around. If they ever see the Western world or Western people, they will move on. There are still cannibal people out in the jungle. And this is true. These cannibal people will go out hunting for the other tribes. And yes, they will try and hunt people. And yes, this is true. Another crazy thing is that they prefer white skin. They actually say it tastes better than black skin. The reason I know this was because I actually met an ex-tribe member and he told me when he was 12 years old they tried to shoot him with a blowpipe and take him to eat. So, the Amazon is a dangerous place. If you come here, I'd recommend coming with a tour or a guide that's from the area because it's no joke. It's very hard to survive in the jungle. It's okay in this area because you have electricity, but if you want to come to the jungle, I recommend doing it with a tour. Here we have some more homes that are actually on the river. Where's my boat guy? I need to get some aqua. We're getting back from the boat now. Time for some aqua. Aqua, you see? It's very hot, huh? Very hot. He's gonna get me some aqua. So good. Time to head back to the land. We are coming back into the port now. Right, we picked up the boy here. Good, he can tell us. Yes, people, I just got off the boat now, heading into the harbour. Thank you, brother. We've got a boy there, just took me out on a boat. Spent about an hour looking around the villages, seeing how the locals live in the Amazonia.